Hello and welcome to the show that brings you the best mix of water sports action from around the world. First this week we return to Malaysia for further highlights from the recent Asian Wakeboard and Water Ski Championships. This week we look at the slalom. Then after a long season we bring you the best of the action from the final round of the New Zealand Jet Sprinting Championship from Featherstone. And later in the show we'll bring you all the latest news from the start of the Volvo Ocean Race from Alicante in Spain. So let's get things underway. We start first with highlights of the Asian Wakeboard and Water Ski Championships from Malaysia. Welcome to Malaysia, 25 kilometers south of Kuala Lumpur, the city of Putrajaya, which, as well as being home of the country's parliament, is establishing itself a reputation as a center for water sports. Last week we saw all the action from the juniors and the tricks. This week we're going to focus on the slalom as we head out onto the water now to join our commentator, Matt Crowhurst. Sasha Christian, our very first lady in this open lady slalom final, not only one of Asia's very best female wakeboarders, but she's rather handy on a ski too, as we're just about to see. Starting off her very first pass, 52 kph on the full length line of 18.25 meters, coming into boy one. Idea to keep that line nice and tight. Keep the speed through every turn so you're not accelerating and decelerating, because that's when the G really starts to come into effect on the body through each turn. Getting a little bit late, breaking at the hips, super late coming into this last boy, and just about makes it and needs to get back in between the gate boys. And I'm not sure she did. We'll wait to see what the judge's decision is on that. And that will be affirmative. Perhaps missing boy number six. So that is just five boys at 52 kmh for Sasha Christian from Singapore. And it is Haru Kamiya coming in for Japan. She is starting off on the full line length at 52 kph. Once the skiers run six boys at 55 kph, this is in the ladies division, they will then start to shorten that line. Obviously there is a set distance between the boat and the boy perpendicular from the boat lane to the boy of around 12 meters. So the shorter you make that line, the more difficult it is for our skiers to get round those boys. Here comes Haru setting herself up pulling out wide to the left hand side of the ski boat as she looks at it to the right as we're looking at it right now wanting a nice smooth turn getting as much angle out of that turn as possible coming through holding a good edge through the wakes where the boat's pulling you the hardest we've got such a good view from the back of the boat here of the effort that is involved in slalom skiing looking so comfortable and nice and early literally waiting for that boy on her edge and coming back around it nice and early a little bit later on boy five having to work a little bit more coming out of that gate boy number six but just about making it through the gates at the end of the pass skiers having to make it through the gates at the start and out of the gates at the end the boat speed will now go up to the maximum speed for the ladies of 55 kilometers per hour and it is this line l speed that she will have to run in order to get through to the shortenings once again as before coming out wide needs a solid opening boy to get her campaign on this second pass going well and is going well coming round boys one three and five which is a good side turn very smoothly indeed breaking at the waist on her bad side turn two four six can she muscle it through to that last boy and i'm not sure she does and she doesn't make it back to the gate boys either but working so so hard haru there and that will be a confirmation of five boys at 55 kph the full speed for women on the full length line as her final results it is career on the water next and it is nana seo who is pulling into the course out nice and wide and we've got a view from the bank now just to get a little different perspective on what that slalom course involves coming through the gates nicely the uh, judges on the sidelines and in the boat will be uh, assessing as to whether she came through those gate boys cleanly that is all important or else this run will not count coming halfway through the course now getting a little bit late on that last turn boy number five she makes up a little bit of ground and comes round boy number six nice and cleanly and back to the exit gates in plenty of time with not a puff or a pant on her person at all. She's kicking it in her stride on that very first pass. 
The top end now is the Ski Nautique, the pulling power behind this weekend's proceedings on the water. Comes up out of the water. Each time the skiers run a course, they will get dropped in at each end just to let the water settle. We need that water nice and calm for all of the sports taking part at this uh, Asian water ski and wakeboard games. But most definitely for slalom. Oh, and a big, big, big aggressive turn coming round boy one. I wonder whether we'll see a replay of that, but just not able to hold the slack. So even a little bit late and just cranking that turn a little bit too hard, not maintaining the speed round the boy. And you notice the slack in the line that was just too much for Nana to handle. Indonesia up next, and that is a mouthful of a name which I'm going to attempt. It's Thoyabatus Umu Sholika on the water. Starting off at the full length line of 18.25 meters at 52 kph. Nice smooth turn, good solid lean through her offside edge cut from left to right. As she's left foot forward, it makes those movements from left to right a little bit more difficult. A bit more twisted position, can't get quite as much leverage. You'll find a lot of skiers making up for her on the other side. As she does right there on boy number five, muscling to get to point number six and back to the exit gates, which she does. That will be a clean first pass. She will stop at the end and then the boat speed will move up to 55 kph, which she'll need to get through and start shortening if she is going to put pressure on the rest of the ladies to follow in this slalom final. Out nice and wide. Opting for the one-hand start to mimic what she'll be doing on those turn boys as much as possible. Hand comes off. Turn comes around. A little bit of slack as with the former skier Nana, but managing to handle it more than Nana. Coming halfway through the course now and looking good. Not looking good. That was the commentator's kiss of death. Actually ended up quite late into boy number four there's that slack on that first line which is probably what made us so late coming down the course and having to crank that turn a little bit too hard forcing her over the front of the ski stopping the ski into the water and all she wrote for Koyabatos in that last session Saya Hirasawa of Japan also starting off at 52 kph getting out nice and wide as we've seen with the rest of her skiers two-handed turn to start her off not much leverage coming through that opening gate but as long as she gets nice and early, she holds that technique and holds her speed, keeps that early pace, waiting for boy number three, boy number four, sorry. Then coming into boy number five, still nice and early, a little bit of slack to deal with, but makes it to boy number six very comfortably indeed. And that is a nice first run to get her finals going. As with the other girls, she'll be dropping in at the end and bumping that speed up to 55 once the judges have confirmed that that is a clean pass at 52 kph. The speed goes up. If she gets through this speed, she will then be dropped in at the end and the rope will be shortened by just under two meters. Two meters off the line, two meters less to get around those boys. Here we see her making it through the gates cleanly. Nicely done. Nice and close to that outside gate boy, giving her as much time as possible. Coming into boy number one. A little bit skittery round boy number two, but still nice and early. Coming round three. Working hard, out of boy three in her offside turn, being a left foot forward skier. Coming into five, and that is a clean pass of 55 kph. And Saya has pushed herself into the lead immediately with that clean second pass. Now it is down to 16 meters. Now at 16 meters, as you get that little bit closer, the wake actually does get a little bit bigger compared with the full length line length. So there is a lot more bounce as you go over the wakes. Not only is the boat pulling you harder, but that ski is going to want to bounce up in the air more. So you have got to be even stronger moving through the wakes. Really resisting through good position, good solid hips, good solid shoulders, and a solid edge. What is she coming up with? It's three. Can she make it to four? Super late coming into four, but rides it out and takes the slack. That is four boys at 16 meters for the Japanese lady in this final, Saya Hirasawa. And now rounding off this open lady slalom final, it is Philippa Young, elder sister of Alia Hanathai Young we saw doing so well in the trick final. It's up to her older sister now to come up with the goods and maybe find herself on the podium to make it an all family winning affair. Looking good in this very first pass. Oh, a little bit of a wobble coming into boy number three. Makes it around four good and five settles herself into the remaining part of this first pass manages to make up time in that second half of the first pass, looking very comfortable. Philippa actually went out at the full maximum speed of 55 kph, so she will now be shortening straight in to 16 meters and attempting to take the top spot. Going out last in this ladies' final gives her the fortunate position of knowing exactly what she needs to do to come out on top. That marker is four boys at this line length. 
Starting off well, a little bit late on the gate, boys, but a solid turn, not too much slack. Nice and early coming into two. Solid position, getting pulled up a little bit early. Out of boy number two. Three's good, four's good, five is good, and that is the title. Is she going to keep going? Yes, she is. That is going to be a happy girl with the gold in her possession after that second pass. And now, all she's doing is skiing for pride, just wanting to push it a little bit harder to impress her homegrown fans, being a Malaysian herself. There's no harm in the pressure being off and her just going that little bit more, seeing what she can come up with. So she's down to 14.25, another just less than two meters off the line length. And at this point, the actual weights become smaller again, so you don't have to wrestle with too much bounce coming through the weights, but obviously there is a lot less line length to be dealing with. Good first boy, getting pulled up a little bit. Semi-good number two, but it wasn't going to be. Oh, wow, she really did push it. Throwing the ski out of boy number three, giving it all she's got. That is awesome work from the Malaysian. And a number one spot, the title of Asian water ski champion in the slalom division of the Open Ladies goes to Philippa Yong. Confirmation then of that result. Haru Kamiya of Japan third. Saya Harawasa also of Japan second. And Malaysia's Philippa Young taking the title with two boys on 14.25 metres. And there's more from Malaysia coming up after the break. Also still to come, it's high octane power batting from New Zealand. See you in a few minutes. Welcome back to the show. We now return to Malaysia for highlights from the Asian Wakeboard and Water Ski Championships. So straight back onto the water here in Putrajaya with the men's open slalom about to begin. Our commentator once again, Matt Crowhurst. Jimin Jung of Korea is the first of our men's in this open men's slalom ski final of the Asian Water Ski Championships. Here we're getting going at a line length of 16 meters. And remember, the men, compared with the women, have a top speed in slalom of 58 miles an hour. That is their shorting speed. This is the speed that Jimin is up right now. So Mach 10 between the wakes, they will move up to speeds in excess of 60 kilometers an hour or around the 45 miles an hour mark, if that helps you uh, relate to a little easier. There are some serious Gs through which these guys are putting themselves, and that did not seem to affect Jimin at all in that first pass. A little bit of a grimace at the end of that first pass, just as he wrestles with the next pass ahead. He'll be dropping down to 14 meters, shortening by just under two meters. Less line length to get round those boys. It's approximately 12 meters from the boat lane boys, the path that the boat takes perpendicular to the turn boys and that is what they have to deal with only two minutes to play with on this 40 meter line length. good first boy standing up coming into boy two you saw the double pump as he was out wide you want a nice smooth progressive calf sending that ski out super wide so he stands up a little bit there which means he comes up a bit too much over the ski and when you get into that position the skis at this high end do not react well to being over the top they like a good solid edge it is Masao Ozawa of Japan out on the water next. He will also be going out at the 16 meter line length, as you see on the screen. Starting off, there are the uh, pre gates giving the skiers an idea of when they need to pull out. Starting off, good solid gate turn. Getting a little bit bent over, coming round boy number one. Can he make it up to two? Yes, he was waiting coming into three. The same coming into four, a little bit later now good solid turn round five and he did well to pick up the pace after that first little bit of a shaky start he's a right before forward skier unlike some of the skiers we've seen so far so his first approach from uh, left to right is his good approach his good edge but that first turn is generally a little bit more difficult for right before forward skiers makes it up a lot better that time but gets pulled up through the wakes which means he was laid into boy two which means he couldn't handle the slack that sell the pull out of boy number two and that will be approximately one and a half boys at the 14 meter line then. So Zun Jiro Hagama is our next skier on the water of Japan also. Just two Japanese skiers in the slalom men's final. This will be the last of those two. One-handed turn to get him going. A little bit bent over coming through the waist, but it doesn't seem to affect him. That's obviously the style that he deals with best. Getting pulled over the front of the ski. Once again coming into boy number four. Five, he handles it. Then six between him and the end of this first pass, and he muscles through it well. 
You'll notice a lot of different styles with these gears. Some fully, fully textbook, some pure brute strength making their way to the finals. It doesn't matter as long as you get to the end of your pass. Either is good. 14.25 meters for Sanjuro. How nice and wide that one-handed turn once again. Good solid edge through the weights, bounces it across onto his outside edge, so he gets that ski out and carving back in, even before he gets back to the boy. Oh, that was a death lean coming from boy number three to four. Basically just getting far too much lean coming out of boy number three that ejected him coming into boy four. Too much speed, not enough free turn. The end of the day for our last skier, Sun Tiro Hagama of Japan. Moving on to Korea now, and Kim dong Jun starting off at 16 meters out wide of that ski nautic tow boat. Pulling all our skiers and our wakeboarders expertly over the course of this Asian Water Ski Championships. Looking very comfortable in this first pass. Good solid turn out of four, sorry, three, then four. Now five looks good. Really aggressive out of those turns on his good side turn, one, three, and five, snapping that ski round getting him lots of angle and continuing to angle through the wakes into the following turn. So that's a beautiful 16 meter pass which means he gets to qualify for 14.25 meters which is what he is on right now. He is definitely going to need a full six boys at this. He's going to be putting pressure on the rest of the skiers to follow and that could happen so far. He's moving really aggressively. Oh, gets bent over out of boy number four. Super late out of boy number five. Working hard for number six. Really working hard, gets round the boy, but cannot get that ski back underneath him. Look at this, so much bitter determination from Kim Don John, and I think there will be five and a half boys at 14 meters. He passes the baton on to his Korean teammate, though, Kim Sia Hyung, cutting out wide. Nice early return with. Needs to push the hips round into the handle to get as much angle out of that ski coming through the wakes and to be ready with a strong, strong position moving across the wakes and behind the boat where the pull is the strongest and it seems to be working a little bit late right there at the halfway point. Coming round boy number five well and into six. Making up a little bit of time later on through the course as he got warmed up and that is a good 16 meter run. The line gets short and he moves on to 14.25 for his second pass. Solid gates. Good solid one. Oh, a little bit of skitterish. Comes round three. Drops the elbow a little bit. Makes up the difference. Oh, see how the head got whipped back out of that turn. Gripping on for dear life. This is going to be a momentous pass if he makes it through. And he does. That was incredible stuff. Fighting all the way through that 14.25 meter length. Kim at St. Hyung working super hard. And he has earned himself a crack at 13 meters. And also a top spot on the podium so far with just one skier left to go. One boy down on 13 meters, handles the slack, drops the elbow a little bit, comes over the front of the ski. Oh, that was never going to happen. It'll be very, very gracious if the judges give him a quarter of a boy for throwing himself at boy number three. He thinks, what the hell, I'm going to go for it anyway, and just gets bumped out the front. So I think that will be a full two boys at 30 meters for Kim se Hyung of Korea. And it's just the one skier left. It is Chiha Salvador of Lebanon. My preliminary score was okay because it was uh, very rolly over here. Uh, there's some backwash, but we all have the same conditions, so I guess 5 out of 13 is enough. But I hope in the finals I'll be able to ski much better to, to take the first place because competition is really hard and that's it. It is five boys at the 30 meter line length that established here Salvador as the leader moving into this final, hence him going off the dock last. If he can get those five boys at 13 once again, he will walk away with the gold. He has two boys to beat, unfortunately though, which is no mean feat. Commenting on a little bit of backwash on, backwash on the slalom course, hopefully that won't be affecting him. It hasn't seemed to have affected the rest of the skiers too much. Moving through this very first pass so smoothly, you can see the sort of form that got him that uh, five boys and 13 meters score in the preliminary rounds. Comfortable as you like on that very first run from Chia. Having made it through there, he will whip out to the side of the boat. The Nautique will drop him in. The judges in the boat will shorten that rope up by a couple of meters, moving into 14.25 meters. He'll need to get all the way through this and get more than two boys at the next line then, so still a good bit of work to do. A little bit of late round boy too, but still keeps his composure, stays calm. 
even if you are late, you can't start throwing your body around too much because that will unsettle the ski and just make you even more late for the next boy. And that composure seeing Chia through that 14 meter line length, which is going to give him a crack on the 13 meters, and he is just, well, two and a quarter boys away from the gold medal position. That is what he needs to get. Two boys is the marker to beat from Kim of Korea. Comes round point number one. Oh, it's not a great start. Oh, and I don't know how he managed to get out of that. Throwing the ski at boy number two. He comes round boy number one, stands up a little bit, gets a little bit of slack, making him super late. But he goes for boy number two. Nevertheless, throws the ski out there. The ski actually hits the boy. He slides along on body and muscles through with just one hand to ski it away. And I don't think that will be an improvement on the two boys of Kim C. Hyung. Confirmation then of that result. Kim Dong Young of Korea third. Salvador Chia of Lebanon second. And Kim Si Hyung of Korea taking the title with two boys on a 13 meter line. Korea! And we'll have our final report from Malaysia in next week's show.